Is raising meat rabbits right for you? Today I'm going to have a talk about 10 different reasons why raising meat rabbits is a great idea on the homestead. G'day there, I'm Dana from Piwakoka Valley Homestead and today we're going to be talking about 10 different reasons why I think raising meat rabbits is a really good idea for your homestead. In a recent interview from Austin from Homesteady, I talked a lot about raising meat rabbits and um, why it's a really great idea and how to get started raising meat rabbits in a colony. I've actually written a book about raising meat rabbits in a colony, so I thought it'd be a really good idea to do a video series on raising meat rabbits and keeping them in a colony and uh, just to share some of the experience and some of the knowledge that I've actually gained. Rabbit meat is a really sustainable source of protein for the family. The upside to meat rabbits is you can keep them in a smaller area and you can do them in town. If for some reason your grain supply dries up, meat rabbits are so sustainable they can live solely on grass and hay. So the top 10 reasons that I can think of why you might want to raise meat rabbits at your place. The first reason is rabbits are really efficient. They are really efficient growers to convert feed into protein. They compare very readily to chickens, the fast growing chickens, not your, like farm chickens, but comparing them to like the Cornish Cross or in New Zealand we call them the Cobb Ross. Their feed conversion ratio is really, really similar. Rabbits are four times as efficient as beef at converting food to protein. So for every pound of food you get four times as much meat out of a meat rabbit than you do a cow. The number two reason is that rabbits are really easy to care for. Rabbits are easy to process, there's no plucking like there is with chickens. Uh, they're small, they keep really readily in hutches that you can keep on your backyard even if you're living in the city. I've even heard of people raising rabbits in their basement. Backyard meat rabbits are really good for you. They are higher in protein than many meats and they taste so much like chicken that most people would never know the difference between them. Domestic rabbit is a far cry from the wild gamey rabbit that you might catch out in the paddock. Wild rabbit tends to be stringy and tough, whereas homegrown rabbit is usually harvested around 8 to 10 weeks so while it is still young and tender. The fourth reason why growing meat rabbits is a really great idea is that they grow really quickly. Within 8 weeks, which is exactly uh, comparable to a Cornish Cross or a Cobb Ross a commercial chicken, 8 weeks, they should hit about 5 pounds live weight, which is about 2.5 kilos live weight, and they dress out to about 60-65% to 65 meat, which is very comparable to those commercially raised chickens, except that you're not having to buy them in as chickens. You can leave them with the mother, the mother does all the caring and all that sort of stuff, so you're not having to have a brooder, so it's a lot lower input. And this leads on to the fifth reason why rabbits are such a great choice is because they are reproductive miracles. They breed very readily. They all have between 6 and 11 kits in each litter. Gestation is only 4 weeks long and generally speaking they will feed their babies for 4 to 5 weeks and then they start weaning them naturally. So even with just a single buck and a single doe and their kits that they produce every year you could be looking at 50 or so kilos of meat just from those two rabbits or that's about 100 to 150 pounds. The sixth reason that I really appreciate meat rabbits is they take up very little space. A buck will need about 10 square feet or one square meter and does in a colony setting will need about two square meters or about 20 square feet and this is to allow for their decent sized territories to cater for their young. Once the babies are weaned they need to be moved off into their own space and this is when you can put them out into like basically a chicken tractor like a rabbit tractor where they can be eating plenty of grass and that will help cut down your feed bill as well. The seventh reason I really appreciate rabbits is that they don't cost much to set up. It doesn't cost too much to build a hutch. We personally raise ours in a shed so we have an indoor colony where they all sort of run around and mingle together. And so that shed was built mostly with secondhand materials and some old roofing tin that we got from somebody else that was re-roofing their house. And so the whole setup didn't cost us very much. And then we have a couple of grow out pens where the young go to once they've been weaned. And again, they don't cost very much to set up. Once you've got a buck and a couple of does from good breeding stock, then all you're needing to do is feed them. They're pretty low maintenance. You clean them out once a week and then do a deep clean once a month. And they just need somewhere that they can be protected from the rain, the wind and the heat. Heat is a lot bigger problem for rabbits than the cold actually is. 
the number eight reason that rabbits are so great is sort of a bonus product of raising them is that their manure is really really great for the garden it's considered a cold manure which means you can just add it straight to your garden and it's actually really great to add in with like worm castings and a little bit of homegrown compost to make a fantastic seed raising mix now, I don't know about you but we have raised rabbits and we have raised chickens and the thing that I really appreciate about rabbits is they are so much easier to process. You don't need any fancy equipment, you're not having to fork out hundreds of dollars for a drum plucker which is if we're going to keep chickens that is for meat that's what I would need because plucking chickens is hard work. It can take me sort of 10 minutes to pluck out a chicken by hand whereas a rabbit I can go from live to table ready in about four minutes flat. And the bonus thing, number 10 reason why rabbits, I find rabbits are even better than chickens for raising for meat, is that any excess babies, if you get to the point where you, for whatever reason, can't process them, you can sell them on as pets. As long as they've been handled daily, they'll make really great pets, it doesn't matter what breed they are. And this can be a really good way of supplementing your food, bills is by selling a couple of kits from each litter as pets and it makes the whole process a bit more sustainable and a little less costly for you. If you want to know more about our way of raising meat rabbits in a colony I suggest you check out my book I've put a link to it down below and that's where I have put all the knowledge that I have in my head I've put it all on paper so that somebody else can read it and absorb it it's really easy to read and I recommend you give it a look. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button, consider subscribing to our channel. We bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food. We'll see you in the next one.